Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Paul Scott. He is the CEO of Confluence Networks. They are a developer and provider of subsea fiber optic network connectivity. Paul, welcome. Thank you, and thanks to the JSA team for having me, a chance to speak with you this morning. Um, yes, we're uh, really excited about our project. Uh, myself, along with some uh, industry veterans in the subsea space, uh, and backed by a big infrastructure company, Maztec, we've uh, embarked on bringing an innovative new solution along the U.S. Eastern Seaboard, Confluence Networks. And the case logic for that is, um, you know, the, the continued growth and bandwidth, the, the critical need for diversity, multi-path routes. Uh, we, we consider this to be a real step change in, in domestic U.S. infrastructure. Uh, there's meaning in the name. Confluence is the convergence of uh, a whole lot of subsea systems are coming across to the eastern seaboard from uh, uh, Europe, from LATAM, uh, and they're converging on the points we are landing. So we're enabling uh, an easy solution for carriers and, and all users of bandwidth, both domestic and international, to cross-connect and move traffic up and down the East Coast to other systems, to, uh, to other cities. Um, and we feel this really can complement the ongoing work that goes on in terrestrial uh, fiber development. So really excited. Well, it sounds really exciting. I mean, you kind of dived right in there. So thank you yeah. for bringing us up to date about what you've been up to recently. Uh, you also announced some partnerships. Why don't you talk to us about some of the partnerships and tell us more about that? Very good. Uh, well, certainly we have a, a host of anchor tenants, as okay. it were. Uh, one in particular, uh, fascinating laser light, uh, building a global uh, innovative uh, new architecture, and uh, they deem our network to be a critical component of that. Uh, so as a teaming partner, uh, really excited with, uh, with that affiliation. But moreover, uh, certainly our subsea vendor, our uh, sales agency teams, um, and, and consulting groups, we're trying to bring best-in-class teaming Okay. To ensure we can build uh, and operate a high-performance, uh, state-of-the-art network along the eastern seaboard to, for the benefit of all users, yeah. a carrier-neutral platform, if you will. Well, it's definitely critical and much needed uh, in our industry today. Uh, tell us a little bit more about exactly what you're doing so differently in the space of subsea. Sure. Well, uh, today, most traffic moving north-south up and down the eastern seaboard mm -hmm. moves across uh, a mix of legacy uh, fiber networks, uh, pieces of new fiber networks. Uh, they have a latency profile, um, and they serve the industry very well. But, you know, with the adoption of uh, more and more of uh, cloud adoption, the absolute critical need to have several routes to ensure your business is protected uh, and as a longtime buyer of terrestrial network capacity up the East Coast, I just felt that, in, along with my co-founders, th there might be a better way to, to improve network resiliency architecture. And we believe our Confluence Network will have the best latency profile and subseas proven to be clearly uh, uh, vastly superior performance and reliability than terrestrial networks. It's not the display disparage them, they're a critical right. component too. Absolutely. But the combination of both, I think, will serve the industry very well in, 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 the, in the decades ahead. I agree with you 100%. So is there anything else that you'd like to add today? Well, I, I think you guys, uh, and you guys do a great job uh, for you. our industry. Thank you. Uh, I believe, uh, look at any of the onward projections. I mean, the, there is enormous bandwidth demand New subsea cables will, are seemingly announced every year. Yep. Uh, and I think uh, this whole eastern seaboard will become one big interconnected ecosystem, enabling international traffic from Europe to easily tr uh, move to LATAM and vice versa and so on and so forth. So 
We really, in some ways, you could argue we're the I-95 sitting safely on the seabed as a new fiber road. Right. Yeah. And hopefully no traffic jams, right, on that I-95. So. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more about your company? Well, certainly our website uh, can provide you information and we're always available and uh, uh, looking forward to moving ahead and becoming uh, built and operational here in the, in the very near term. Well, congratulations, Paul. Uh, thanks for joining us today. And to our viewers at home, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.